and hello uh, welcome to solo playthroughs so <laughs> robinson crusoe um whoever watched my last two robinson crusoes if you know the game you know that i was making a very 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 big mistake uh, it was actually a, a little mechanical mistake uh that actually had big impact on both those games uh, and i was making the solo version of robinson crusoe uh much harder on myself uh, and the balancing concerns that I expressed at the end of the second video um, I think were in large part due to the fact that I was playing the game wrong. If you don't know the game and didn't know the game of Robinson Crusoe and you have learned from me uh, and you are repeating this mistake, please stop. I feel very badly about that. Um, and the mistake I was making is that at the beginning of the morale phase, uh, the in a solo game, you are supposed to raise your morale one step because uh, as the rule book puts it in a little box near the back of the rule book as opposed to in the morale phase itself uh, which I've read that section multiple times and I vaguely remember reading the solo rules section a long long time ago when I first read that rule book cover to cover but then played this game with more than one person for a while before I started learning it solo um, it says you're just happy to be alive and uh, so therefore the morale goes up every day you wake up and see the sunshine, which is great. And I'm really happy about that. And I totally get it. And it gives me warm and fuzzies. However, why was that not mentioned in the morale phase of the rule book? But I digress and it was still my fault. And I am putting a video on YouTube and I am kind of putting myself out there as a solo gamer who knows these games. Uh, I, I am, you know, again, my apologies for having that rule wrong um, and my deep gratitude to the very amazing and thoughtful viewer who when I asked for any comments, epiphanies, etc. to go in the comment section and please tell me if I am missing something uh, took the time to write me a comment which brought this rule mistake to my attention. Since then I have played this game a bit more. Uh, I've gone back to the second scenario, uh, the Cursed Island, and I've had a lot more success uh, much I've enjoyed that scenario uh, still don't think it's gonna in the end it might be I've only played three scenarios of the nine that come in the base uh, box and uh, I, I would be I would not be surprised if that ended up being my least favorite scenario of the bunch having looked ahead a bit um, but uh, now I am uh, enjoying the challenge presented by Jenny needs help I have the carpenter I did randomly select off camera uh, for today. Um, so I have not beat this with a carpenter yet. I am excited to try. I'm using the standard food crates a starter event card instead of the alternates that come in the base box. I have one of these decks is of the has the book icon, the other have the various circles adventure cards icons so i'm going to take four of each i'm taking four of each because there are eight rounds in this game so we only need eight event cards in our event deck and they get shuffled together um, things are arranged a little differently for the camera we do have our starting tile here so that's the beach since we have access to beach i have covered that terrain on the shovel we have access to that dimension and can build that immediately up top alongside the shovel i have the other eight starter invention cards um, so we have rope and medicine which are from the grasslands knife we or we'll, we'll have access to be able to build those once we discover grasslands uh, once we successfully explore a mountain we can build the knife or the fire we will actually need the knife for this scenario we'll also need the rope for that matter uh, then we have if we discover hills uh, we'll be able to build a pot or bricks and if we discover um, a river we'll be able to divert, uh, build the dam or the map the five random inventions that came off the top of the deck. Uh, we have the spear, we have the wall, the moat, the diary and the raft, the wall and the moat, especially since they give extra palisade. Palisade is very important in this scenario uh, and the, just the way the, the uh, scenario is set up, being able to have constant access to bumping that palisade up is nice to have those two in my starter. Uh, choice and they both increase the palisade two additionally the starter uh, inventions we have the bricks will increase the palisade one and the fire will increase the palisade one but remember you cannot increase the palisade until you have already built the shelter so uh jenny needs help let's kind of take a look at this scenario 
it is scenario three again in the base box only eight rounds as i mentioned in the first four there are no dice in the weather um in the weather section at least not from the scenario and in the uh, last four rounds you have um, the uh, hungry animal die which again can either cost you to lose a banana or, or lose a food i should say it can cause you to uh, have to lower your palisade one or it can cause you to have to to fend off a beast that's attacking at a level three so we're going to put that over there um, scenario three you are castaways on a deserted island your situation is very difficult but look over there there is one of your shipmates beautiful jenny trapped on a lonely rock in the middle of the ocean you need to build a raft and rescue her and then you better hurry and build a boat to escape from the island a hurricane is approaching fast now there are two goals in the scenario first we need to build the raft and rescue jenny that's two separate rounds two separate actions that have to be done over two separate rounds in the first round you have to need the rope and two wood to build the raft the second round you need to do an explorer action on the raft if you succeed then you rescue jenny jenny comes into camp once jenny's in camp man jenny is just kind of like a mooch on your supplies and you need to keep her alive all she can do is rest she can't do anything else uh every you know, every round she's on the um rock the she only lose she loses two health every round right so if she's on the rock for more than five rounds you're done uh every round she's in camp though she becomes like another player and although she's useless she is affected by things that would affect other players so she doesn't have the immunity to some of those effects that you see in friday right friday's uh, immune to any um you know when all players have to lose health because there isn't a shelter or because they don't eat or because of of uh, rain or snow effects uh, or palisade effects uh, friday doesn't get damaged by those effects which is nice all right but jenny does so again you want to be able to manage her health as you go whenever you pull up bo uh, a book icon a hurricane is approaching and a storm hits the camp you actually lose the palisades as i was saying keeping the palisade up is going to be uh, one of the challenges of this scenario uh, and then you have the various rules for what happens when you uh, discover totems during successful explorations and then the special tokens that are in the discovery token bag again i don't like having piles of stuff in a lot of my games i just throw things in a bag i just find it adds to uh, some of my experience and how i enjoy to play games so i'm going to put this scenario reference card here um, since we will have jenny represented by a token once she survived i will put just took one of the tokens that i'm not using this game this is actually my soldier female token i'm going to put that there and there's a health meter with 11 hearts i think one two three, five nope 10 hearts so 11 damage and she will be dead without any healing and you cannot heal jenny until she's actually brought onto your uh, island and you can't bring her to the island until you do again the successful action on the raft now i didn't mention the second goal of the scenario if i can loop back to that you need to once you have jenny on the land you need to build a lifeboat to build a lifeboat you need the rope which is the same rope you need for the raft so that should be pretty good unless something causes you to lose an invention you've already built you need the knife so you need to definitely discover uh, a mountain text that you can build the knife you need six wood which is a lot of wood and then you need four fur which can be a lot too if you're especially if you're having a hard time uh, hunting and especially if when you hunt you wind up getting stuck with animals from the hunting deck that uh, from the beast deck that do not have fur as part of the reward of killing them so the carpenter i use uh i've started to use these little stones there's a lot of reminder tokens um you only have a limited supply of, of these tokens and they're kind of all over the board so for me it, it helps remind me um i just went to like one of those little like goofy healing stone things um my wife drags me into and i was like you know what those little tokens could actually be helpful for a bunch of my games so um i use them in arkham i use them here now so um again you have the carpenter has four special abilities they can be used once they're around um so the first ability is economical construction scarce resources what are you talking about this is more than enough for me i can discard two determination tokens to spend one wood fewer during one action of any type craftsmanship i've done it a thousand times i could put it together blindfolded i can discard two determination tokens to reroll any brown die during your action phase 
uh, during your action. So that, that's, again, helpful. Again, the, the brown die is the one that has the, the, the most, um, most of these, the most of the success or failure dies have five successes and, and one failure. Um, the brown die actually has, has a third of the die is failure. Now you get two determination tokens, but most of the time you really just would rather succeed, right? Uh, this is a game where economy of actions is big, especially since we only have eight rounds. Um, a new idea. I think I just figured out a way to improve our camp. I can discard three determination tokens. to draw five invention cards, choose one, and place it on the board. I probably... I don't see myself doing that, probably. Uh, handyman, this is a very basic construction. It won't take a day to build. I can discard three um, determination tokens to get one additional worker for one building action. All right, so I will keep my brown pawn tokens handy for that additional worker. That will be very huge. I mean, they think about it, right? So if you're guaranteed success and you have the three tokens, you're better off spending the three tokens <laughs> Uh, to guarantee success than, than to risk having to spend the two to uh, to re-roll die, right? Because, uh, I mean, you re-roll the die and still fail, right? A third is still a third uh, that you're going to fail. And this is what's so huge about me missing that rule. Because uh, I was spending a lot of time, like, I was, I was wasting actions organizing camp just to make sure my morale stayed. Because what was happening when I was playing solo, I would lose morale. And then I would start getting crushed by the rules for unfulfilled demand as the game went on. So I, early I was wasting a lot of time instead of actually getting toward the goals of a scenario uh, as you saw in, in the videos uh, that I posted before this one. Um, you know, now, I, 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 instead of doing that, I was, I was just trying to you know, mitigate and manage my you know, morale. Uh, but now, because you're getting boosted every day because you're so happy you're alive, you, I don't need to worry about that anymore again, which is, it, it's such a, it's hard to overestimate how much that one little thing that I was doing wrong really affected the game, which is, number one, the importance of know the rules, right? Um, and it underlines the importance of know the rules, but also underlines the importance of having a freaking good rule book. Because, again, I am someone that I, uh, I I look up rule books, I read the whole thing, uh, and I and I often, you know, verify and check back. And, and, and for me to miss a rule that basic because it's buried so deep in a rule book is very frustrating for me. Um, all right, so I have babbled on long enough. We are 12 and a half minutes into this sucker and haven't done a thing. So um, I'm going to get my starting equipment. Remember, you get two of the eight. You could just shuffle it, but with only with so few cards, I like to make a, a, a little randomizer on my, on my phone. I got the biscuits and a Bible. The Bible's kind of pointless, but... I might actually have Friday go there to give him some determination tokens at some point, but we'll see. Because him having determination tokens, again, he can use two determination tokens to re-roll any action dice. Um, so that could be good. Plus, with the Bible now, he would get a health two, and keeping Friday alive uh, as long as possible can really help because his extra pawn can really make your life easier as the scenario wears on. So I'm going to put Biscuits and the Bible there. And remember, we have also have the dog because of a solo game, and then the dog can only be a support pawn, and he can only support an explorer action or a hunter action. Friday can be a support pawn, a support pawn for you. Um, you can never be a support pawn for him, uh, or he can be treated just like any character, but again, he only has four health, well, three hearts, so he gets four damage without any healing. He will be a goner. And uh, again, when Friday dies, if he dies early, it is a sad day indeed. But you'll still get your mor morale boost every morning, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Eh, Friday, you'll get over it. Anyway, I digress. So let's go to the game, shall we? So we're going to skip the first event phase in round one. We are now going to go to the morale phase. And guess what, kids? We're going to move that up. So you do that before you actually carry out the rest of the morale phase. At the very beginning, you raise it up one because you're happy to be alive. And I'm going to get a determination token. Whee! Here's my first determination token. So hopefully they can start accumulating and I will start making as good use of them as I can. Now we're going to go to the production phase. Since our camp is on a tile that has both wood and fish, we are going to get a perishable food and a wood. And we are going to build 
um, I'm sorry, we are going to put those in the available resources section. Now, if I had a second determination token, I would be tempted to try to build a shelter right off the bat with that one because of my economic construction, but I only have the one, so that will be an action that's not available to me yet. Um, but we can start hopefully building a shelter um, quick. Now, one of the things with this scenario that's different than the other, the first two in the box, and again, I haven't played the other ones yet, uh, is that you know while in the earlier scenarios, the first two building up your roof is really, really, really important, and this one. It may be important, it may not. It depends on the event card you pull, but getting that palisade again, getting that humming and getting that moving along is gonna be important for your success. So what I am going to do is I am going to assign one of my workers to, to um, well, you know, I just do three explore. I mean, I don't see, the shovel could be useful to build a moat, now that I'm looking at that, because that plus two would be nice, and then I don't have to worry about, you know, getting, making sure I get hills and then building the, uh, you know, bricks before I can build the wall. I get the shovel, I can build the moat, you know, this, the, the round after I, I finally get a shelter on the board. So let me assign Friday to try to build a shovel, and we'll see how he starts out before we start trying to shield him from any damage. I'm going to put my guy and the dog here and I'm going to put uh, my guy here without a support on so he will have to roll the exploration dice which are the green dice now the first tile we reveal that has a totem the player is going to take two damage and I assure you one of the reasons I never use Friday in this scenario is because if you roll both the adventure question mark and the broken heart and you reveal a token that has the totem and that's the first totem of the game Friday's all of a sudden dead on the first round and guess what you're just you have to set the game up again because you're not gonna win um, so I learned that the hard way twice and because uh, I'm stubborn and so now I always make sure that if I use Friday for exploration in the first round I always make sure that he has the dog as a support pawn uh, instead of myself so he does not die so we're gonna we're done with that now um, we've done, we're still in the action phase, so we've done the planning, now we have to carry out the actions. You carry out the actions left to right across the bottom of the board, right? So the first action we're going to do is going to have to, we're not going to, we're not, we're not doing anything in the threat area, we're not doing anything with hunting, so we are going to do a build. Friday's building, Friday's trying to build a shovel, we're going to roll these three dice, he gets a damage and he fails, he gets two determination tokens. Don't love it could be worse the two determination tokens could come in handy and again the fact that he uh, only got one damage instead of two is a little bit better than it could have been so not great shovel could have been helpful but you know we might not build a moat anyway um so we're gonna put his token back on his thing kind of looks like mickey right now with those determination tokens there which is cool so now uh we're not doing any gathering so we are going to do exploring so i'm gonna do my roll one first so I'm rolling the dice, I get a success and one damage. So I'll move down on the damage track. I'm gonna put those back on top of the deck. My pawn's gonna come back and let's reveal this. We have found a the first totem. So to mark that as the first totem, we're gonna to put the green one on there. We have discovered grasslands. So since grasslands are explored, we have access to both the rope and medicine. And we are going to get one determination token. And hopefully it's a good one. All right. We have a goat. So if we can get our weapon level up to a one, we will be able to kill a goat and get a fur and a food. So now we're going to do uh, my last action during the action phase. I'm going to use my guy since he was supported by the dog. Uh, we do not have to roll. We're going to put this on the board still grassland so that's not ideal and we are going to put one beast into the hunting deck and we're going to grab three determination tokens so that's more ideal so we are going to get that that is the pistol it temporarily gives you a plus three that's actually really good for me uh considering my current situation um digging around in here some more we're going to get the second token is going to be candles that's great 
And the third token is going to be uh, um, Ruined Hut. For, so it'll give me two wood, which is good. So we didn't reveal the second, um, what you would call it, unfortunately. We didn't reveal the second uh, temple because uh, we really do want to get to the third temple. When we get to the third temple, guess what? We get the rope for free, which is huge in this scenario especially. So that is the end of our action phase. At the end, we are gonna bring these down. I'm gonna discard the ruined hut token to get those two wood. We will keep candles and the goat available. And as long as we don't kill the goat, we will have, uh, we'll be able to keep him around and kill him when we get that weapon level up to a level one. All right, now we are gonna go to the weather phase. There is no weather in the first round, which is nice. Uh, and we go to the evening phase. Um, do I want to move my camp? Uh, there's a small argument to move there. Uh, I'll stay where I am. Um, I'm going to be able to eat, but I do not have shelter, so I will have to take one damage. Now, additionally, because of the scenario, as per the rules, since it, Jenny is still stuck on her lonely rock, we move her down two. All right, that is the end of the first round. I did not use any of my special clues, so they will these tokens weren't moved, they'll stay right there, and we'll go to round number two. Cool. So first action we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're in the event phase. We're gonna pull an event card. Book book. Yikes. What happens when there's a book? Minus one palisade. So I can't move the palisade down, unfulfilled demand, I lose, I take a damage. Can't move it down, unfulfilled demand again, I take another damage. That's rough. Probably gonna want to get rid of that because there's another book there. And I don't want anything to do with that. Yikes. All right, so that is the event phase. Morale phase. This moves up. I take two determination tokens. So now that gives me three. I'm just going to take over the weather phase a little bit with my determination. Yeah, no, that's confusing. I'll put them here. All right. Um, and then we're going to go to the production phase. I get a wood and a food, and that goes into my available resources. Now, what do I want to do? I want to make sure I build this shelter, right? And, I, and the nice thing about the carpenter is that while I'm going to need two wood for the raft and six for the lifeboat, um, I'll be able to conserve wood enough that I think it makes sense to guarantee building the shelter, get that done with, make sure my damage, you know, especially I just took two damage there, which sucked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard the candles. I'm going to take the brown token and I am going to um, the brown pawn as a support pawn for a build action. I'm going to put this on the shelter uh, space. I'm going to use one wood and two determination tokens uh, to spend one few wood fewer than I need. You have to, if you're using that economic construction, you have to commit those tokens in the planning phase. So that is great. And now I'm going to put one pawn here to make sure I don't get that book effect coming up later. And, and then I'm going to do an explorer action. So I'm going to put Friday and the dog as a support pawn uh, into that open hex there. Planning is done. Let's carry these actions out. Threat area. I'm going to discard this. So the island fights back. Cursed island, no doubt about that. Rescue. So I did a rescue. Hopefully that is a omen or a good karma for this round, whatever you want to call it, and or this game. And then I'm going to discard that card and I get one determination token, which isn't much, but again, I was more concerned about something that continually crushing my palisade, which when I build it, I want to make sure I don't lose the benefit. All right, now I'm going to do a build action. I don't have to roll because I have a support pawn. And so success is guaranteed. I'm spending these to two determination tokens and that wood, putting that pawn back in the pawn supply. And my own pawn goes on my character and I have successfully built the, sh the uh, shelter. And now with the last action of the round, I'm going to use Friday to do the explore. He had a support dog, so we are good there. And we found hills. So a couple of things are happening here. We get another, uh, carve in the hunting deck into the beast deck. You're supposed to shuffle every time. It's all random as you start seeing a card in there, but I shuffle, whatever, it is what it is. Um, so that's gonna be number two. So that's the second uh, totem. And when you have a totem, the second totem, it is the old cemetery, which is really depressing, I guess, because you lose 
to morale. Great. Um, we have hills, so I can cover up the pot. I can cover up bricks. And now I'm also going to take two determination tokens as per the icons on the uh, hex. So I found a fallen tree and poison. And it's another, it's a, it's a pot one. So we're going to want to build the pot at some point. Well, maybe we'll do that next round. I don't know, maybe not. So what's happening? So um, yeah, because we build a pot, then we can get our weapon level up. Uh, and then we can really think about going hunting sooner rather than later. So that's all my actions for the round, right? So I'm going to bring this down. I have to discard the fallen tree right away. And I get a wood. So we go to the weather phase. No weather. We go to the knife phase. Uh, I have shelter and I can eat. So everyone is happy. So we're good. Now, do I want to move my trial, my shelter, uh, my camp? I should say, yes, I'm moving my camp to this tile. If I had any palisade or roof level, I'd have to see if I lose any of that, but I don't. It's not a concern right now. So I just moved my shelter to this new tile to give me more access to the rest of the island. Jenny loses two health, and now we go to round three. We are going to pull the first of the top event card. Cloudburst, escape. We're going to put the adventure token on the gather action space. If we do a gather action, we will have to resolve a uh, the top gray card, whether or not we have a support pawn or not. Now, the next action, if we don't resolve this, oh, not red. Discard, discard. Ooh, my bad. Um, I, I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, now I'm reading it. So, Escape. So that goes on there. Move your camp to an adjacent tile of your choice. Oh, I am going to go here. I'm not going to get a wood, but I'm, I'm going to be able to save enough wood through the round that I don't think it's the worst thing ever. Um, so now move. I, I can discard this card and get one roof or one uh, palisade back if I lost any by moving my camp. And clearly I didn't. So I'm just not going to have to worry about that. And the nice, two, nice thing about when both of these come off the board in the next few rounds, uh, there are there is no secondary effect for either of them. So the threat actions we have a little reprieve from having to worry about those for just a second. So we're going to go to the morale phase. I'm going to raise my morale because I'm so happy to be alive. I get one token, so now I have three determination tokens there. And then I'm going to do production phase. Now I had a move right, so I don't have wood, but I will get a perishable food. So. Um, I really want to build that pot for a couple of reasons. One, it will give me access to the ability to heal once every night if I have extra food. Uh, and two, it will allow me to get my weapon level up. Um, now, ideally, I build my knife and get my weapon level, level, uh, weapon level up that way. But clearly, I'm having a little bit of trouble finding my knife. Uh, so um, that said, I need to find the mountains sooner rather than later. And I want to build the pot. So what I'm going to do is build the pot. Mm, man, that shovel actually would have been really nice. To build the pot, I want to explore. Looking at my thinking of if I want to use those three determination tokens to get the pawn. Um, maybe. Yeah, I do. I, I'm not messing around. So I'm going to play, spend these three determination tokens and let's get that done. And I'm going to get a, a pawn to help and build that pot, which can be really useful. And now I'm going to use my other guy. I'm going to go here and here and I will use the dog for me and we'll see what happens the Friday. All right. So it'd be, yeah, he's not going to be, he's not going to die this turn from doing this action. So uh, 
some action planning is done, let's carry it out. Make sure I do it in order because I almost screwed that up. We are going to go to build. So I'm building that. It's guaranteed success because I did that support pawn. And now I have the pot, which is nice. Um, put that in future resources. We are then going to go to uh, the adventure action. I'm rolling for Friday. He gets two damage, so he is one away from being dead, uh, but we have a success. So I might end up using that Bible after all to boost him up a little bit on the next round. So I'm gonna put this tile over. It is another card goes from the hunting deck to, I'm sorry, the beast deck to the hunting deck. And we get three determination tokens. There's a few good ones I'm hoping to get. One is if you get, the, if I, cause since I have the pot built, there's a lot of them in here that will actually do some really cool things that interact with the pot. So one, I get the thorn bushes, which will actually increase my palisade. So that's a, a nice one to get. I get uh, one extra morale because I have the pot and I will get plus one to my weapon level because I got the old machete. So those are really, those are three really helpful discovery tokens. Now I'm doing the adventure, the explorer action with me and the dog as a support pawn. I flip this over. We found our third totem, which is Nice. So I get the third totem, and what happens? I get to build the rope invention for free without using an action. I'm gonna put that in the future resources as well. So we also, before I forget, we now have access to all five of the terrains because of um, this was a river and that was a mountain hex so now means we can build our knife like we need to and i'm going to do one determination token and we're going to get uh new no, another pot one so i get plus two health which i might actually give to friday now that i think about it so um we are going to um since our actions are done we're going to bring all our future resources down so i'm going to put the rope as an uh, an item in our supply. The pot is an item in our supply. I'm going to discard the old machete to get plus one to our weapon level. I'm going to discard the thorn bushes to get plus one to our palisade. I'm going to discard the herbs because I have the pot. I can do that. I'm going to get plus one to our morale and I'm going to discard the vegetables to get plus two health to Friday because again I don't really want to start wasting actions right now to heal him up when I can just use that gift from the discovery token bag. Um, and now I'm also going to discard the poison to get another two to our weapon level. So we can actually think about doing some hunting next turn, which makes me very happy. Um, can you hear it in my voice? This is me being happy. Oh, by the way, so I should have been pushing this down when I used the handyman skill. So I, as long as you don't do it more than once around, you're good. And I, I've never had more than three determination tokens in a round, so clearly I haven't used it more than once in a round. <laughs> a round. That'd be hard to do unless I was super cheating. But no, I only cheat in a way that makes games harder for me, uh, as we've learned from this game. Um, so weather phase is done. Uh, night phase, uh, or just doesn't happen because there's no weather um, to worry about. And night phase happens. Uh, I still have shelter. I am going to move here because, again, I was forced to move by the cloudburst event. I'm going to move there, so I'll have access to both food and wood in future rounds uh, on my camp tile. And then I'm going to eat, and we are good. Now, I did move the camp, but my palisade level was only at a 1. So what happens when you move is you you are, you are lose half your level rounded up. So 1 half, one half rounded up, so back to 1. So we're good there. Um, great. So we go to level 4. Jenny loses another 2 health because she's still stuck on that rock during level 3. So obviously we're going to need to start getting her off. So building the raft next round is going to be of utmost importance. And then um, once the raft is built, the round after that, we can do the explore action to get her off of that rock. Uh, so now we're also looking at things and like realizing that we really need to um, get some furs so we have a chance of building that lifeboat. So furs, knife, uh, we already have the rope and we, we should have no problem getting that wood. So um, 
Ultimate, overall, I think we're in a, in a decent place. So we're gonna go to the event phase. We're gonna pull the top event card. Book, we lose a Palisade. Discard two wood, or each player gets one uh, broken heart. I do not want to discard two wood. Oh, no. no, I really don't. I really don't. The snare is also something I could build too. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to take the damage, and that goes here. This comes off, this comes off. Now, paying attention to the secondary effects of the event cards, when you have Jenny becomes up most quickly. She's, she should be at the island by the time this gets resolved. She will lose a heart, uh, because anything that affects every player will affect her, even if it doesn't affect Friday. So it's just something to think about. Oh, and this gets reset from last round. So I have access to the handyman skill uh, again. Um, all right, most important thing that we can do. Oh wait, morale phase, we get two. And production phase, we get, oh, sorry. We get two determination tokens. And production phase, we get uh, both a food and a wood. That makes more sense. All right, what are we doing? We are going to try to build the raft. I really just want to make it happen. I want to build a raft and I want to hunt. It's kind of all I want to do right now. I know we need to build a knife too, but the raft is more important. So I am going to spend two determination tokens to spend one fewer wood than I need. My palisade's a little low, but we'll see. I think that's fine. All right, so we're spending one fewer wood than we need. I'm not really worried about that wood right now. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend both. I'm gonna spend the full price for this because I can always spend that later, and I'd rather have the ability to get a third pawn, another pawn next round to make sure that I'm not that um, I'm, I'm utilizing economy of actions here. So I want to make sure I succeed at this. So Friday can't be the lead pawn pawn. Pawn, pawn, pawn. I'm having a little tough time with that word today. Uh, Friday cannot be the lead pawn. He has to be the support pawn. Um, so I'm going to put that. We have the rope, so we have access to be able to build this raft. And that shall be done. And then with um, me and the dog, we're going to do some hunting because our weapon level is three. And we also have this to temporarily give us another three if we need it. So we're going to resolve these actions. The planning phase is over. We're going to resolve these actions in order, right? So we're going, man, I'm tempted to be greedy here. <laughs> uh. Uh, I got the extra tokens. All right, let's do it. 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 Oh, this is going to be so bad. Um, I'm going to just commit Friday, and I'm going to commit myself to building this snare, which that plus one food, especially with Jenny. Every round could be really helpful. Oh, I have the biscuits. Oh, the snare is not as useful. All right, we're going back to the original plan. Let's Let's not... I think we're in a good shape, so why am I gonna why am I gonna push the action here? All right, we're gonna uh, do a hunt. So we are flipping over the top card. It is a tiger, because of course it is, but that's good. Uh, we are going to have to discard this because our weapon level is three. So we're discarding the pistol that we found in the discovery tokens. Uh, now it gives us a temporary level of a six, so we take no wounds there. We lose two to our weapon level, so we're still at a weapon lo uh, level one. We get five food because we are pigs. Five food. And we get, um, that goes in future resources and we get two fur. So once we kill that goat, we'll have three of the four fur that we're gonna need to build that lifeboat. So the tiger is dead. Anyone who has seen Tiger King that might evoke some things for you, 
but I'm sorry, I should have had a trigger warning. There might be tigers. Anyway, um, we are now gonna do the next phase of action. So we're gonna do a build action. So I'm going to be able to take Friday off and me off, guaranteed success there. And now we have successfully built the ref. So I'm gonna put a token on there to indicate that this is built. And now we just need to do the explore action next round to go save our beautiful but useless friend. All right, we're gonna take all of these down. We go to the weather phase, nothing happened, and we go to the night phase. I have shelter, so we're good. I'm gonna eat, and then because of the possibility, I'm gonna eat another one to give myself a plus one to my health. Now, normally, if you're playing a multiplayer game and you're really worried about morale, you might want not wanna do that because it's a little risky, right? Because I go back down, I'm gonna lose that morale again, but I can only eat during the night phase, and I think making sure I'm managing uh, uh, and staying on top of my health is more important than trying to worry about where this is going to go uh, over the next couple of rounds, right? Because again, every round, if newsflash, every round you go up in morale. Oh, this is the basic rule that everyone should know. Um, so since that, it kind of counteracts that, like this going down, if I go back up every round, who really cares, right? So we're going to go to round five. So Jenny loses two more health. So she's getting nervous. Man, it must be really, really lonely and parched on that lonely rock. That phrase lonely rock cracks me up because the rock's not lonely, dude. Jenny might be lonely, um, but the rock is totally content being a rock. We are going to draw the first card of the event deck and we are gonna get the gray token in the, in the space that's already there. We get a rain token. Urgh. Might want to build a roof after all, especially because another rain token might be coming up in a couple of rounds. This goes off, nothing happens. So what's happening next? Morale phase, this goes up, I get two determination tokens. We are going to then, oh man, what do I want to do? Maybe we should build the roof. Um, we're going to do production phase, I get this and this oh wait all the other perishable food from last round had to go away but it's like the one thing i always forget well <laughs> one thing i always forget more than the other things i forget sometimes uh so that's there and now we are going to go to planning our actions um i am going to guarantee a successful exploration there then what am i going to do I need to, I want to build a roof, I want to build a palisade, and I want to build a knife. I want to build a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to discard three of these to get a support, a support pawn to use this turn, so that uses the handyman ability. And I want to build the roof, and I'll pay Mm. No, nope. I'm not going to get the support pawn. I'm going to take those three tokens back. And I'm going to spend two just to be able to build a roof level with one fewer wood. And I want to do the roof because you don't have the option. And the nice thing is, so this goes back up. I'm going to use the economic construction and now I have the craftsmanship. So if I don't roll well, I will be able to have a second chance to re-roll the success or failure dice. Um, one of the things that, you know, um, I totally lost my train of thought. What is happening? Um, yeah, one of the things that, that, you know, in this game, you can't choose to take wounds instead of discarding resources. And this weather die actually puts a big wrinkle in some things. Uh, so I, if I can get that roof up, and just not have to worry about dealing with this, especially because I don't have a shelter, a shovel, and I can't deal with it. Um, I think that makes sense to just really make sure I get that roof built um, and and be able to save these resources because I, I do, I'm gonna need, well, I don't need six, I'm gonna need five to build that lifeboat and I'm gonna probably spend a couple in the upcoming rounds to, uh, to keep that palisade level from going down, although I can build a fire potentially at some point. So everything is a sign. Oh, no, I have one more. Um, let me try to build 
the fire actually and get that or I could build the bricks and then once I have the bricks I can build a wall that's probably smarter we'll do that so let's carry these out we are doing two build actions they are both not supported um, I'm gonna do the the roof first and again economic construction so there's two determination tokens and one wood I failed I'm going to spend my other two determination tokens to re-roll the success failure dice and I succeed Woo! okay so I take a damage which means my morale goes back down but I get that roof level up to one which means I'll be able to ignore that rain cloud in the weather phase I put the two determination tokens in the wood over there dice back on the brown deck and my pawn back on my character now I'm gonna roll the dice again to try to build the fire I have no more determination tokens I fail and I, no yeah I fail so I take another damage because the damage dice and the failure happens I get two determination tokens which is far from ideal but what could have been worse oh and I use craftsmanship to reroll so that's the only time I could have done that this round anyway even if I had more determination tokens uh, we are gonna now take the explore action with the dog and Friday Jenny must have been so happy with her rescue party uh, so she is saved uh, and she is gonna well I can keep this here because we built that and she's gonna come now into camp and she's gonna need to be fed right off the bat <laughs> so um, we're done with our uh, with our action phase all right um, I am going to she's going to eat anyway so I'm going to kill the goat and get a fur and a nanner and now I still have both of my biscuits chilling so we are going to roll the hungry animal die I rolled a palisade hit so since we have no palisade level both Jenny and myself lose one health for that and now the rain cloud is there we have our roof level one so we're good and we don't have to worry about injuring Jenny there which would have killed her so I'm glad I built that roof <laughs> wow um, I, I saw that coming I really did uh, and then we have to eat Jenny eats I eat we have shelter no more damage we're good so basically we are the knife and one fur and two um, two wood and two determination tokens away from being able to build a lifeboat and getting Jenny and ourselves and our dog and Friday maybe sort of if he lives uh, off of this oh, this island of ours all right so uh, I'm gonna put Jenny back here this guy this failure comes home and now we have uh, done with round five and we go to round six so running out of time um, we are gonna do the event card it is a book man we're gonna die we're dead Jenny's gonna die ah it's so gross yeah if I had just could have gotten the fire built you know what I could have done is because of the pot I could have given my food to Jenny and taken two damage for me which would have made morale go down I think that would have made sense and we'll just play it out that way because um, I knew that damage was happening and I knew the book was there so again this would go down as a loss for me for sure but I think for the sake of this channel and this video um, kind of seeing how this plays out uh, might be uh, informative so um, we are going to take a both take a damage because I don't have the uh, palisade level and then uh, this goes off the board we both take another damage so I'm actually too away from death the joys all right we're gonna go, go to morale phase this goes up we get a termination token we're gonna go to the uh, production phase we get a wood and a food now this is a little crazy that goes in our, our current available resources 
Um, I'm ready to sacrifice our friend Friday here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, but I also want to build the fire. I'm too away from death, so I really can't be messing around too much. All right, I'm going to spend Friday and the dog here. No, Friday's got a lot of health. I'm going to send Friday to build the fire. Oh, my weapon level's garbage. I'm going to send Friday and the dog here. And he's on a sacrificial mission. We love you. Bye-bye. Um, I'm going to want to build the knife and the fire. Oh, man, that palisade is killing us. I need to build a palisade. But I also need to build the knife. I'm going to build a life point next time. All right, let's get lucky. Bing, bing. So we're huntering, huntering, huntering. We are huntering. I am, be I be good with English. Uh, so what happens? We get a wild dog. So the wild dog is going to damage Friday too. We get two food and a uh, thing or a jig. And since we don't have medicine though, uh, Friday gets two more damage. Now the way things work on Friday, you still get those resources. And it's like he comes back to camp and then collapses and dies. But, man, what a sacrifice. What a team guy. He just wants Jenny and I to get off this island so badly that it was just, that just had to happen. Um, so the wild dog gives us the last fur we need. So we could be able to build this next turn. Assuming uh, these I have these abilities back. Oh, and by the way, Jenny goes to the uh, rest space. I have these two actions back. So what I'm going to be able to do is re-roll if I fail one time by spending two determination tokens. So let's hope that I don't need to do that though. So I'm rolling to try to build the knife. I succeed and blank blank. That is a beautiful roll. So the knife is gonna go to our future resources. And I'll go back here. And now we're gonna try to build the fire, which could be very important. I fail. I'm going to spend two to re-roll that. And I succeed. So I get a damage. Oosh. Um, but I succeed. So I'm one away from death. But now we have our palisade. And depends on what we roll on this die, to be honest with you. So um, this is back. Jenny gets one health. So she's two away from death. And I'm one away from death. And that's fine. So we're going to go to um, next step. Uh, we're going to get our end of the action phase. We get our resources down. Uh, the fire comes into play, makes our palisade go up one. The knife comes into play, makes our weapon level go up one. And if I roll the hungry animal, that is all she wrote. It's the palisade. We just built that, so we're good. Uh, that's why the fire and the knife are so important. And we are now going to go to the night phase where I'm going to eat two. Uh, one is my normal allotment that I need. The other is going to give me one health back. And Jenny's also going to eat. So we now go to round seven. We're going to pick a card from here. It is, oh, are you freaking kidding me? Ha! I was going to be able to do it this round, but I'm going to be one wood shy because the closest wood gets covered. Now, the gray, it's another gray, which is crazy. Um, so the closest wood gets covered because it is exhausted. Yikes. This comes out. We get the weather tile in the weather space. And we're going to need to build. I should have built the bricks instead of that fire. That's what I should have done, but that's fine. Because then I would have access to the wall, which would make us go twice. Um, shoot. So, production phase. Now, Friday's dead, remember. So, uh, morale phase, this goes up. We get two. Production phase. Um, we're going to get uh, just the food. Mm. 
Well, Jenny's going to go to bed again because, you know, she's Jenny. Really should have built those bricks instead of that fire. That was a bad decision. All right. Well, I only have two guys. I want to gather a wood and build a bricks. So I'm going to spend three termination tokens to get a support pawn to make sure I succeed at the bricks without risking damage. And then I'm going to, the gather dice are the most friendly. Oh, I don't have a wood space close to me. Oh, that's so gross. That's really bad, kids. I need another wood for sure. So I can gather from two away, but I'm going to have to roll. This is where Friday would be really nice. And then I'm going to have food. All right, well, give me those three back because the support pawn isn't going to happen there. Um, I'm going to use... Oh, I can't use the dog for support. Oh, man. I think my only option here is... Uh, I've already seen a fallen tree and I've already gotten the ruined hut. How am I... How am I the carpenter who's short on wood? How am I in this place where I can't even get wood and the crazy thing is if I don't get five wood going to the next round I'm not going to have the wood necessary to even take the action I need this was like the worst most disgusting <laughs> uh, but at least it's fun now man I'll tell you what like the first time I played this game uh, I mean the, the last few times I played this game before I realized the rule I was was screwing up like it just felt so unfair and so punishing <sighs> wow well I really don't think I have a choice so I'm going to not build the palisade hope I get lucky with the die it's not many good rolls in that, but at least one of them is nothing. The level three beast actually wouldn't be awful. So I'm going to go two away and try to gather this wood is what I'm going to do. And Friday's sacrifice to give us a win was thwarted by a thunderstorm. Wow. This is really bad. All right, so we're gathering. So whether or not I roll the adventure die... Um, if you take the action, you always have to, to resolve that. So I'm going to have to resolve this um, since it's on top of the deck. And we actually haven't used these cards at all this game, which is very strange. But it worked out, so we're going to roll, and I succeed. Nothing, nothing, but I still have to draw the die, the, the card, even though I didn't draw, roll that right die. Just discard this card or get, get, one, ooh, get one food per player. Yes. That's great. Shuffle. If you don't have, when I pull it, if I don't have medicine, each player takes a damage. But I think I'd rather have the food. Instead of every player taking two damage, they can take one. And there's only three cards here, so I'm just going to roll because uh, it's so absurd. So that's on the bottom. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I roll the five. So, of course, it's going to be on the top. But I successfully have gathered the one wood I need and then Jenny's one action is she gets a health we're rolling this die make it good Ugh. so uh, one damage one damage um, I know that's fine and then I have a roof level one so this is fine and doesn't bother me now we are going to go to the night phase. So all, all these should have come down earlier. I'm going to eat two. Jenny's going to eat one. And I'm going to get a health because of that. 
we are going to go to round eight. We're going to pull this card. I wonder what it is. We don't have the medicine. I never pulled that discovery token. Um, and I never decided to build it. So we each get one wound. Yikes. And we're going to put this on this space. So high water. The river has overflown nearby. It is dangerous for the camp. So high water gets... The, the gather space gets the adventure token and the explore space gets the adventure token. These move over and guess what the effect is? Put the, the, put the, the token uh, on the gather space and the adventure and the explore space. Uh, we already did that. So we're good. Um, morale phase, I'm going to take a health and then we're going to do the production phase and we're going to take a food. Uh, I am going to put Jenny on her little rest action. I am going to put my two pawns on lifeboat. I have the knife. I have the rope. I have four of these furs and I have five of those woods. And we have two of my determination tokens that allow me to use one fewer wood than needed. And we are going to do our actions now. That is guaranteed success. We have built a lifeboat and we have won, kind of, with a giant asterisk. But yeah, that was cool. Man, just the Bible was such a useless, useless starting equipment um, for a solo game in, in so many ways. Um, you know, obviously there were a couple of rolls that could have gone either way near the end. This card with the closest, uh, the closest camp tile, uh, just covering that wood. On my tile and have making me go a yet another round that was interesting but then seeing how to reason it out making sure we had to gather that last wood and do the math and have the determination tokens to spend to use economical construction you know and that's what i really like i mean what was happening before when i wasn't getting that extra morale is i never had enough determination tokens to do anything unless i was just failing tests right um but being able to really see each of the characters come to life a little bit is adding a whole new layer of enjoyment for this game so thank you to amazing viewers who give amazing comments and uh, i appreciate that um and uh whatever you want to count this a victory for me or not i will leave that to your own personal board game ethics um i i don't <laughs> yeah it is what it is but uh, I hope everyone in, uh, enjoyed a playthrough of this game, a seeing with the proper rules. Again, if, if something I'm missing, please uh, put it in the comments. I do read them and I do appreciate uh, just, you know, this is one of those games for me that in my development as a gamer, I want to get better at, and, you know, I always want to get better at all my games, but it's it's not like Arkham or Maze Night where I feel like I've, I've kind of advanced to a more veteran level of understanding of the game and appreciating how it plays. Uh, you know, this game is, is still has that newness. Obviously I still have six, what is it, five, is it eight scenarios in the box or nine? Um, I still have, uh, you know, six, five or six scenarios I've never even played that I'm excited to try because they look pretty cool. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, epiphanies, please put them in the comment section below. And until next time, be well, be safe, and happy gaming. Take care.